Welcome to this VHF UHF channel and I uh, got a question that I think is uh, very interesting to answer um, concerning the communications receivers like this is the ICOM ICR20 there's the uh, ICR30 also that I have here and it has to do with the frequency coverage a lot of questions arise from that and I, I had a few here in the past couple of weeks saying so there's a lot to listen to up to 3 gigahertz because these radios they claim to listen up to 3300 megahertz that's 3.3 gigahertz it's very high in frequency in the UHF range so a lot of people are asking is there a lot of things to listen to there and that's where I'll say the ICOM ICR2030 are a little in the gimmick side of things. Um, not that there's nothing to listen to. There are some signals and there are some things depending on uh, including satellite signals and uh, all sorts of uh, little things that could be of interest for some in the range of the gigahertz you know one two gigahertz there are a couple of amateur bands there too for different um you know experimentations but overall a lot of it has to do with trying to sell you the idea that receivers that have very wide coverage like this are better than others um you know, my ICOM ICRD500 ends at 2 gigahertz. Uh, this R20, that is mine. Also, the R30 ends at 3.3 gigahertz. And truth, you will pretty much not have um, any or almost no listening experience above 1 gigahertz. Once again, not that there's nothing. Uh, there could be some signals and some stuff, but a lot of it is mostly digital things. Uh, there's some satellites that do have some um, stuff to listen to in the one point some gigahertz range. But overall, you will need to have not just the radio, but better antennas and directional antennas, preferably, that listen to the high range of frequency there. Yes, there's a 2.4 gigahertz band where there's some stuff, including some, there used to be some cordless phone, but those are spread spectrum. And listening to your router is not that much of a fun thing to do. <laughs> um, so I would say don't expect too much from the above one gigahertz because you will probably be um, a little sad that there's really not much. The majority of signals you'll monitor are below one gigahertz. And um, most you know scanners that go up to one gigahertz or 1.3 gigahertz some, in some models are more than enough for a lot of what you want to monitor. The also the other thing that is a problem on most of these is that a lot of them give you access to very high frequencies, but not all the modes of these frequencies. That is a drawback of a lot of ICOM radios like this one. Not all of them give you access to single sideband above one one or, or you know two gigahertz. And if there is something that you might want to listen to, maybe some of these signals might be better received using some different modes that are not available there. So it depends what you have as a receiver. I think the higher end receivers are better here at this. Um, if I look at my ICOM ICR8500 that I use, definitely at one to two gigahertz range, it is a million times more performance than the R30 or the R20 that use for the most part Dawn converters to actually do the 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 frequency coverage you got also to you know understand that they're not same price receivers so the receiver itself is not as good also as the 8500 for example or the 8600 that you might want to use so don't get too much excitement by having a radio that goes to three gigahertz because that could also mean that you'll be sad to see that there's not a lot to listen to 
that said, with specialized antennas and, and with a knowledge of knowing what's there, there definitely are some things to listen to. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.